Hi, my name is Tessa DeRico. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I am a junior double majoring in theater and English, and I am the director of Gruesome Playground Injuries. So I am Reese Niederhausen. I am a sophomore theater education major. I use he, him, his pronouns, and I am the stage manager for Gruesome Playground Injuries. Hi, I'm Mia Diasenzo. I'm a freshman theater education major. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm the assistant stage manager. Sure. I am Parker Culp. I am a senior theater education major. I, my pronouns are he, him, his, and and I am assistant stage manager. Hello, my name is Joe Mitchell. I'm a junior oh, theater education I'm major. Theater my pronouns are he, him, his, and I am the lighting designer on groups and playground injuries. Hi, my name is Emma Halloran. I'm a sophomore musical theater and marketing major, and I am sound designing for Gruesome Playground Injuries. Hi, I'm Katie Noth. I am a junior Spanish major, and I am the set designer for Gruesome Playground Injuries. Hi, my name is Alexis Pinto. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I am a junior musical theater major here, and I am our props designer for Gruesome Playground Injuries. Hello, my name is Tate Clemens. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm a sophomore musical theater and sociology double major, and I'm one of the two props designers for Gruesome Playground Injuries. Hi, my name is Tierra London Rush. My pronouns are she, hers, and I'm a sophomore musical theater major here at Xavier, and I am the costume designer for Gruesome Playground Injuries. Most of my experience at Xavier has been assistant directing. So directing a show feels like a pretty natural place for me to be. And it's been a pretty nice progression. I feel like every time I was an assistant director, I was just learning more and more and more. And now that I'm actually getting to direct, um, I'm just getting to pull bits and pieces from other shows and processes I've worked on. So I feel like I'm in a very comfortable space with my position in the show. Well, this is my first time um, head SMing a show. Um, I've been in ASM on various other shows and I think my biggest the biggest difference is that it obviously it's student directed so in a lot of like other um, process that processes I've been on it's been a lot of okay here's exactly what needs to happen here's exactly what you need to do but in this case because it's the first time Tessa our student director is directing it's my first time had a semi it's become a lot more collaborative it's been really neat to see everybody work together and learn and help each other through this process. I haven't done uh, that much production work yet, but it's been really wonderful to see how everybody works together. It's very different because I, because this is my first time ever stage managing a show, and and with this, I feel like I can be more involved behind the scenes. So this process has been very cool to be a part of. Um, I have worked in a designer role. Um, last semester, I was a props designer on Something Rotten, which is a very fun musical. Obviously, the show is very different. It's a lot more intimate. Um, but I've also found that like being in a student showcase type um, performance, um, I have a lot more like creative freedom. I think sometimes I'll go up to Tessa, our director, and say, oh, do you like this song? Do you like this song for this moment or this change or this fade? And she'll say, you know, I trust your judgment, um, which is really cool. Um, sometimes a little scary to hear because you kind of see like how much creative say you get in this process. I feel like the difference between being a designer and doing everything else that I do, which is also like running the shop and things is I have a lot more of a hand in like having to create everything that happens because usually as a shop worker you just get handed drawings and you just build and you just go with what you've got so like I actually have to come up with those things now and that's not easy. This process has been different because I've never props designed before but it's really fun to take a look at all of the little like minute details of our show and help put them together. So what's interesting about being a designer is you get to see more of the evolution as the actors and directors realize things. You realize things and um, maybe you'll get a prop request first week for us. Um, they'll say, we want this bag for this scene and then they'll realize a week or two in that they actually don't want a bag or they want a different kind of bag or something like that. And they'll let you know and you'll say, oh, but what if in scene six, can we have this instead? Would that be interesting? And you can talk to the director and 
maybe your choice on this prop will inform how they didn't decide to do a certain scene or something like that. So you really get to be more of the more of a part of like the growing and the changing process. As a designer, it's been really interesting to be behind the scenes of everything. I got the opportunity to assist in costume design for Lizzie, but it's very different working with a group of your peers who are all in the same designing boat, you know, um, hearing what everyone has to do to get ready for the show and putting all their ideas together and getting used to new software, things like that. What drew me to this position? Um, Steven Skiles <laughs> asked me if I wanted to direct this year and I said yes, because why would I say no to that question? So that's what drew me here. Um, so stage managing has always been something I've been passionate about. Um, I've done it on various other productions and you know, when Steven offered me the opportunity to main a son something, I kind of jumped at the bit. And to be able to work with Tessa, who I've worked with in the past, was just like an added bonus. I think this is a great opportunity. I've never assistant stage managed before, so it's great to learn something new. Just, um, just, just sort of the general outline of the job. I, I, I've never really stage managed before, and I really wanted to get like a first-hand experience on doing it and this seemed like the perfect show to do it. I have always been interested in set design. I really like building sets and doing all of the drawing work. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting to then take on another take on another portion of the process and learn kind of how to do all of it. I've been a props designer before for Eurydice, uh, which is part of our repertory series last year. Um, I just, I always enjoy um, being on props design because one, it's so fun when you see a show to see all of the different pieces of your work um, just up there. It's always fun to figure out things. For me, it's interesting to think, okay, if I was this character, what kind of bag would I have? Um, or if I was this character, what kind of cane would I use? When you're behind the scenes and you see all of the costumes and potential costumes that go into a process, um, it just sort of like sparks your creativity. So I think I wanted to do it to actually prove that I could do it and do it well. Um, and just knowing the, just the costume design process and the pulling of clothes and then doing fittings and the organizational aspect of everything, I thought I was well suited to do it as well. Um, the two main characters in Bruce and Playground Injuries, Doug and Kayleen, are both super, super weird. Um, and they're people that you don't know in real life. Um, they're kind of like larger than life people, but the human truth of the story and the emotions that they go through are so relatable. Um, and even though throughout the show, we see Doug and Kayleen from ages eight to 38. Um, so the actors are both first years here at Xavier. So they're playing there are 18, 19 year olds playing this like huge age range. And we talked a lot about how, even though it is such an age range, there is something in like each and every scene about like changes or growing up that we can all really relate to as, as college students, um, going through this like period of change, but also a period of like kind of settling down into where you're gonna be for the next four years. Um, so we found a lot of emotional truths in the story that we wanted to share with the audience. And I think that everyone can relate to this piece, um, even if, you're not at an age that they are in the show. Three people, we only have three actors. Um, so in the room, it's me, um, my two ASMs who I love dearly, um, and Tessa and the three actors. So it's a very small, intimate space. Um, so those intimate moments can feel very daunting because it's so concentrated and so like everyone's looking at you. Um, so that has been challenging because I know my actors have had to go through some tough times. The most challenging part has been uh, switching directly from one process into another without really much of a break. One of the most tedious parts of the process is um, line notes. <laughs> The biggest challenge was that so much of this is new to me. Um, I focused on, I helped with lights on Lizzie in February. 
And so this was applying a lot of what I had learned. The most challenging part of this production has definitely been figuring out how to get some stage safe uh, razors for our cast to use and making sure that they are fully safe so nobody gets hurt. I went from striking one show to having tech in a week. And when you don't have your show designed before you go into the other show, it's kind of difficult to then have to build a whole show, design and build a whole show in a week. It's, yeah. That was, that was really hard. Figuring everything out and working together with everyone else to get exactly what you want and maybe trying to find everything specifically um, in the amount of time you're allotted. Um, it's kind of a weird answer, but I think just like, it's always doing it, like is the most challenging thing is just putting like all your effort into this thing and trying to make it exactly the way you want it to be and trying to work on it. I feel like the most challenging part of this process has just been time. Um, coming out of nine, I was also in nine to five, and so coming out of that process and immediately jumping in to design work, it was this game of like, am I pulling these things because I think that they're right, or am I pulling them to say that I've pulled something and just trying to put my best foot forward and give 100% to my design work as much as I would my acting. And I also think that that's the most rewarding that they feel comfortable with Tessa and I and Parker and Mia um, to really be able to talk to. Um, at no point did anyone feel unsafe. So it was some hard moments, but at the same time, you know, after the rehearsal we went home, I was just extremely proud of everyone in that room. And the most rewarding part has been seeing everybody's hard work pay off. Everybody's put so much uh, time and energy and dedication into this process and it's really cool to see it all come to fruition. The most rewarding part is seeing Sean Moss and Molly Franzen killing it every night. Every step of this process was challenging and now that we're almost at a finished product, it's gratifying to have gone past all those challenges. Um, and yeah, I'm glad I got to do it, especially from an educational standpoint, as a student and as a uh, teacher. I think that my biggest takeaway is that um, we're a lot more capable than we think we are. I definitely wouldn't have thought that I could come in and learn how to work this um, Q lab over two days or figure out what cross points means or all these technical sound terms. And I feel like I've already learned so much. And I think we're on day four of tech and day three of tech with actors, which is kind of crazy. Um, definitely very thankful and blessed to have people in the program like Anna Colley, Casey Johnson, and people, and Katie, of course, people who know uh, the system we're using. So um, I think that I'll be taking away a lot of technical knowledge and also just a lot more self-confidence in my ability to help design a show to some capacity. So really rewarding because then seeing everyone at Tech and like knowing that my part was pretty much done, very convenient, very nice very low stress too, which is great. The best portion of this entire production has been Keith. This is Keith. Hi. Secrets of Playground Injuries. I think it's probably the most rewarding was sitting down with Alexis, um, our other props designer, and her and I just throwing a ton of blood and paint at these little pieces of gauze and wraps and trying to figure out what would look the coolest and what fits the injury most and what um, and what would work and how we were gonna attach it to one of the actors and how we were gonna make sure he was able to get it off during a quick change and just all those kinds of things you don't necessarily think about when you're like oh yeah he's wearing a gauze in that scene but how are they able to get it off him on him um, how did they design that what kind of layers do they have why is that blood splatter there um, it's just really cool and fun to do and then wonderful to see the results and see it working and see it looking really good. I think one of the most rewarding parts is just being there during tech when the actors finally get into costume and just seeing them. Um, and I mean that first day of tech moves so so slow but as a costume designer getting to see the actors in costume and their acting element as well as with the set and with props you know it just you feel the pieces kind of start to mesh together but even then the work doesn't stop so um it kind of keeps your creative juices flowing <laughs>